Alrighty then, guys. Welcome back. Everything is suddenly very purple. <laughs> um, thank you guys so very much for hanging around and waiting, if you guys are still with me. Um, so, yesterday, as you guys know, we, um, we did our monthly, end of month sort of thing that we do on the Discord, where we, um, compete in, I guess, friendly ways <laughs> on the Discord. It's not streamed or anything like that, hence why I didn't stream yesterday. Um, but we're gonna be doing our usual dailies today. We're gonna be hanging out and chatting like usual. Um, I'm gonna try and get this uploaded tonight so that people on YouTube don't miss out on anything, and then I'll upload the Sunday stream tomorrow like I usually do. Also, my game time is like a couple minutes behind. I think it's about two. <laughs> I need to fix that. Being friendly and so there's a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. You're absolutely right. Um, but yeah, anyways, I have some fossils that I dug up last time that I need to go ahead and get rid of. <laughs> also, I just realized I don't have my game actually in front of me. There we go, that's better. So, guys, what I wanted to talk to you guys about is actually... I'm looking for suggestions and ideas for what you guys want to see in memory. Um for the next however many months it is until New Horizons releases because in my mind we're getting to a point in memory where we've done a lot and either stuff that we haven't done yet we have to wait for or like you know we're kind of just putting finishing touches on things. New villagers never. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do any more plot resetting. Uh, question, is Fantasy going to make a reappearance in New Horizons in Clear H Street? Well, I don't know, you're gonna have to see. You're gonna have to see. <laughs> no drilling rig. <laughs> proper suggestions, you guys. Proper suggestions. Not you guys saying something you know all turned out. <laughs> you're gonna have to... Fantasy? <laughs> Um, I did have one idea, which is starting to fill out the museum rooms on the second floor and thinking about maybe doing a full gyroid exhibit, because that's something I've never bothered to do before, but I wouldn't mind collecting them. More viewer visits? I wouldn't mind doing more viewer visits. Um, I would want to preface, preface, I think that's how you pronounce that, that by saying there's going to be a lot of people DC and then everyone being booted out because that's what always happens. So it would be like, it, it might be a bit of a weird stream <laughs> is all I'm saying. But I'm not against that. There we go. Oh no! Don't sell that if we're if we're keeping it, uh, and don't sell that either. More trees. I'm thinking about putting in more cedar trees. Yeah, for sure. Um, especially around the top half of town, of course. Fully expand your house? No. Um, usually I would, but in this town I wanted a small, cozy kind of cabin theme, so I haven't bothered getting the side rooms or anything like that. And I don't know if I will, but I'm tempted. A room full of gyroid cells, gyroid will see, that's why I didn't. <laughs> I thought about it and I'm like, wait, no. This isn't what I wanted. A bob shrine? Potentially, potentially. That is definitely something I wouldn't mind doing. Um, maybe in the upstairs room we'll have like a section for bob. Bully Rose is still working on those, yes. Those are definitely ongoing. <laughs> Um, but with Blue Rose, it's the sort of thing where, like, I water it every day and, like, hope that something happens, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put this red rose right here because I don't really know what I'm doing with it. And I'll keep the dry wood with me for now. Mod tribute area. <laughs> Buddy. Don't you think it's about time to take a break? No, I, I just took one. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, Azure Grim Place, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on in. Uh, 
Uh, Moon Pop, I have a couple ideas written down, but I'm not too certain. Also, apparently Kevin is thinking of moving. We gotta stop that. Have we gotten a fortune teller shop? We have, yes. What music is playing in my house? That was KK Cruisin'. Yes, CC. I want. I'm looking forward to that so much. Uh, Art, thank you so very much for the biddies. Much appreciated. Uh, dear Crystal, look what I found. I saw a TV show about these things. They say they're really popular in Japan. Anyway, I thought you might like it. Your pal Cube. You got an hourglass. Okay. I'll take it. To wanna be Crystal, if you want to change your image, you should try my certified popularity growth plan. It's totally fail-proof. Simply pose all cool wearing this. You'll be it for sure. I don't want to be it. It is scary. <laughs> Light polka dot tea. And from Cube again. This is a nice paper. Uh, have you ever taken a nap under a tree? It starts out really peaceful, but then an inconsiderate person comes along and shakes the tree. Falling fruit hurts. <laughs> Where technology in Japan exists. <laughs> they actually do that a couple times in this game. Ah, uh, Yop Dev, thank you so much. This is an 11 month resub. You're like a month away from from a long time, from a year. <laughs> thank you so very much. How are you doing? There we go. Alrighty, so. As per usual, if you guys see dig spots that I don't spot, let me know. Where's the mushroom paper? Yeah, we usually do get the mushroom paper, don't we? I already talked to him, but I guess we're talking to him again. On oh, nice days, I like to have picnics outside. Eat some lunch, take a nap. I mean, that's pretty much what I do at home anyway, but doing it outside makes it feel special. <laughs> Um, there is that right there. For some reason my paid sub isn't aligned with my anniversary. I wonder why that is. I've heard of that happening. I think someone else had that recently as well. Um, I don't know what Twitch is up to, but <laughs> it's a little bit weird if you ask me. Being twitchy, of course. Um, what's up, Cube? So, I got something that I bought from Bob forever ago. Oh no, what if he's super mad at me about it now? What should I do? Well, Bob wouldn't get mad at you, so do you think you could return this thing for me? I gotcha. Adam, honestly, I, I'm the same. Um, I think I've done that once before. I think I did it with the bush, though. Do you always think the dandelions are weeds? Yeah, I actually really like the way they look, so I'm happy that they don't technically count as weeds. It's nice not to have to worry about it. Where did Bob go? Don't like it, so I usually ignore my anniversary until it's time to resub, yeah. As long as it's not the rock, yeah, that would be awful. <laughs> That's the day I might need a little bit of a break from the game. Man, I'm sure he just forgotten about it. I'm kind of surprised to get it back. Oh, I know. Let's play a game. If you can guess what's in here, I'll give you a prize. I think it is... It's probably clothing. I'm going to guess furniture, though. Clothing. <laughs> you are incorrect. The correct answer is actually clothing. Too bad. All right, Pikmin lover, we'll see you later. Foxy, hello, it is Bob. We have a little bit of a session with him here. How are you doing? It is usually clothing, yeah. Ooh, yup, Dev. That's interesting. I have a big favor to ask you, so listen, listen down and settle up. Uh, Settle down and listen up. <laughs> I've heard about a bug called the Rainbow Stag, right? Oh, I don't know if I can catch that right now, buddy. 
I'll give you a try, but I don't I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I always guess clothing so it stops them from wearing it. If it is, see random with those strats. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, Mish is in her house next door. No one asks for unreasonable favors like Gaston. <laughs> Welcome to my home, Cookie. Just sitting down to write a poem about about a tambourine. I was talking to Kevin not long ago and he mentioned he was thinking about moving. It might just be a joke, but it might not be. He could be seriously considering moving. When you get a chance, could you please go check on him? Do it to you so you can do it for your series. At least get the Liberty Pass you could catch. Um, if you want to, you have to for sure. Um, on Discord is preferred. I don't think I have everything open on Twitch at the moment. Oh, Moon Pop, that's awesome. Uh, I have an important question for you. Do you like sweet or spicy food better? I'm I'm very bland. <laughs> so neither means you like things that are sweet and spicy, or it means you only like bland food. It can be awfully inscrutable sometimes. Oh, the rumors are true, I see. You're the proud owner of the finest hourglass I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm determined to get what I want. I'll spend all my money if I have to to get my hourglass. Let's do this deal. Um... You know what, that's fine. <laughs> Random. <laughs> Thank you, Gupta. Thank you so much. I'll give it a check out and see if it's something I'm able to do. You prefer spicy, if you're being honest. I don't mind spicy food. Um, I definitely have a preference for sweet, but I tend to go for bland food overall. <laughs> okay, so we already spoke to you. I'm hoping that Kevin pings us today about him wanting to move, but if he doesn't, then we'll just harass him a little bit and hope that he tells us. We still really gotta work on our hybrid flowers as well. We're not doing that well. I just like food. <laughs> can- sorry, they can tell you without pingy? I think they can if you like talk to them first and just keep talking and eventually they'll be like, oh right? I think they can at least. Like, oh right, I want to tell you something. I thought that was a flea, that was just the, the bug. No worries, Groundhog, you enjoy your lurk. Um, let me go take this over here. Oh, Phoebe's back there. Oh wait! Where was I putting yellow tulips if not there? <laughs> Hey, you want to come over to my house right now? No big reason, I just thought it'd be nice to talk inside sometimes. Sounds good. Sounds good. Watching a VOD of you this morning, turn Twitch back on and you're streaming. Oh, well that's perfect timing then. How are you doing today? Let's try a spicy box from my Chinese. I literally pulled the face you make when you're trying to sneeze. Oh boy. You love the purple roses in this game? They're very pretty. Purple and blue in this game, in terms of flowers, are just gorgeous. There's no place like home, come on in! I actually like everything in her house, minus the shirt. <laughs> Which I don't know where she got that, but... I went a little crazy with my cleaning. I can see that. Are we just having a moment? I think we're just having a moment. <laughs> yep, she's staring right into my soul. I feel like I'm being interrogated. 
<laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh gosh, I'm trapped. I can't get off the couch. Dear Lord, I'm leaving, Phoebe. You're freaking me out. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I'd like it. Yeah, shooting star. We have a really complicated relationship, I think. <laughs> Eddie Star, hello, you're a Violet Witch. Oh, you changed your username? Alright, no worries. Welcome back. How are you doing? William Wolfgang, hello. Hello, oh, Chi. Gosh, Phoebe be freaking me out, you guys. I wasn't ready for that. I feel I feel attacked. Steal the shirt? Nope, nope. She's probably gonna come after me for it. Oh, but William, welcome on in. No worries about not being able to, you know, make them. I totally understand. A lot of people use Sundays for, uh, uh, catching up on stuff. Um, alright, so we have some yellow roses here that don't need to be here. Addy, I'm doing pretty well. Um, there's a lost book right here. I'm kind of just having a really, really chill Sunday so far. Um, I'm gonna go check the villagers in their houses and see if this belongs to any of them. Watch as that book does belong to Phoebe. <laughs> Want to keep me there forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Midge likes books. I feel like this is a Midge thing. Watch as I'm- I'm probably very wrong, but like, you know, I'm trying. You think it's Gaston's? What did I just say? What did I just say, Midge? I know you. I know you. <laughs> Random, you may have lost your mod sword, friend. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mystic, hello, how are you doing today? What'd she give me? Red zap suit. <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> Can Pepper and I share a random mod sword? Only if you promise not to hit each other with it. Please don't be going around swinging those things. Harvest Moon New Beginning. I actually started playing that recently as well. I mean, like, replaying it. I played it years ago. Um, but I think I might actually just continue playing Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town, because that game is nostalgic for me, and the remake is coming out. They'll use it to butter bread. <laughs> Been in Kingdom Hearts Moon for a few days. I'll probably play it after stream. Ooh, yes, which one are you gonna play? Kingdom Hearts is so good. There's- I- I have so many loves. <laughs> Harvest Moon, Harry Potter, Kingdom Hearts, like all these franchises that I just adore. Peanut butter crack- cracker sandwiches, ooh. Didn't know about the Harvest Moon remake? Yeah, they're making it under... Uh, the Story of Seasons title, so it's Story of Seasons something mineral, Return to Mineral Town or something like that. Um, and, mm, that's my childhood. <laughs> that was probably, I think that was my first Harvest Moon game, so. Coming out on the Switch. I was kind of hoping it had rained while we weren't playing, also this still bothers me, I'm so sorry. Um, Captain Mike, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? If Marvelous released on Steam, they get a bigger audience. They probably would. Um, I'd love to see older Harvest Moon games remade or remastered or even just ported to newer systems, whether it be on Steam or on Switch or wherever. But I don't know if they can anymore with the name change and stuff like that. 
kind of ignore the people who make Harvest Moon games under the Harvest Moon title. Yeah, Harvest Moon title these days, mm, I don't like. <laughs> Uh, Kim, yes, I don't know how to pronounce Doraemon. I don't know how to pronounce it. I have my eye on that one as well, though, because it looks like a storybook. It looks gorgeous. Harvest Moon was your whole life. Or Harvest Moon DS. I was actually thinking about picking that one up as well. But I found out that is probably one of the glitchiest Harvest Moon games to date. And I have one of the original copies, which obviously they, they couldn't fix. Um, so I don't want to play it because I'm worried about my save data. <laughs> uh, is it Hackett? Hello, how are you doing? I'd like to see some of the old Final Fantasy games remade. Well, they're doing, they're doing seven, um, which is huge, but, uh, you never know, they might do some of the others. Where was I putting orange again? Was I putting orange around the cafe? <laughs> oh, I was putting these. Uh, how about just straight up orange? Because it's almost like they're different kind of shades of orange. I might leave that. I might not. I'm not sure. <laughs> Played until the cartridge didn't work at all. Yeah, I, I remember... I remember glitching that game when I was younger. I don't remember exactly how I did it, but Light of Hope is so bad. Yeah, I won't go near those. That's not, that's not Harvest Moon to me, if you know what I mean. Is the path information not accurate? Do I need to update it again? I'll fix it later. Sorry about that. I, uh, I went through two paths very quickly, so I probably didn't update it to this one. Started season Tree of Towns lately, and it's pretty good. I never got into the game when I got it, but I decided to play some games I never got into. Yeah, I got that one as well, and I couldn't really get into it either. It is on my list of, like, check it out again sort of thing. Yeah, CC, it is. <laughs> That's why I haven't fixed it yet, unfortunately. Looks like a mobile game, which wouldn't be bad if it was actually on mobile. Yeah, I think originally there was a Harvest Moon on mobile game, which they based that one off of, I believe. Uh, at least that's what I know. But yeah, now if you guys are in here and you've never played any of the Harvest Moon games, and you're looking for one to get into, um, or if you, if you play Stardew and you're looking for something similar, um, these days, look for the Story of Seasons games, because they are all very well done. Um, wait, how did I manage that? There we go. <laughs> or, um, go back in time. Go play some older games. Try out the older Harvest Moon games on, like, Wii, GameCube, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. <laughs> older consoles. Luca, I did. I actually enjoy it. I'm gonna make all my money back from Luna, by the way. <laughs> Um, alright, let's do an update here. My time Porsche? Yeah, my time Porsche is really, really fun as well. Um, I'm kind of really happy that Stardew came out in the first place, because before that I couldn't tell you about any Harvest Moon-esque games or farming games that were on PC. Um, and definitely not any that hit that level of popularity. <laughs> so there's a lot of games coming out like My Type Porsche or, or others, um, or Reed Legends, that kind of are piggybacking off of Stardew. And I'm so happy about that because I love the genre. <laughs> Exchanging bells with each other, essentially. <laughs> oh, Luca, I haven't had it freeze up at all on me so far. But, uh, I, I enjoy it. 
Uh, frog, no. No, I don't usually open up my town. Um, here and there I will, but not usually. Yeah, I don't know. I feel that. I always feel a little bit lost when I play that game. But you don't... You you do get, if you're talking about the dream suite, you do get your town assigned a dream address, but if you don't give out the address, you know, chances are people won't find your town if that's what you're worried about. Yeah, Alochi, there's a lot that, you know, they need a little bit more time in production. Oh yeah, and the dream suite. Yeah, no, you don't have to worry about um about that. So essentially, when you get the dream suite, your town will get a dream address. Ooh, don't sell that. Um, but you can go and view others. You don't have to. Your town isn't essentially public per se, unless you give out your dream address or someone searches for your town specifically. Um, all right, so I don't know where I'm putting these flowers. <laughs> um, I'm kind of uh. Forgetting where I'm placing everything. Oh, that's good, Shadow Star. That's pretty good. Lots of new stuff for you. There we go. So this area's gonna be completely covered soon, so I won't even have to like look back there for fossils anymore. Where is I putting yellow tulips, you guys? <laughs> oh, so orange was going here. Graphics from our cartoon are a bit annoying sometimes. They look very unpolished. I, it's essentially like they scaled down Mario Kart 8 to me, to be on mobile, which is expected. Um, but I I just want a new Mario Kart game at this point, or new DLC for 8. This is just gonna go here for now. And the oranges we're gonna put near the cafe. Uh, you're king, thank you. Thank you. Didn't make them, <laughs> um, but I'm glad you like them. Oh, Adam, thank you. Thank you for the offer. I'll let you know. Uh, Frog, no, I accidentally kicked it up, and I don't have that design on this character. I have it on my other character, um, and I don't really want to change characters at the moment, that's all. You might play some of the original Animal Crossing just to celebrate. Yeah, no, that's kind of what I've been doing is going back and uh, checking out the older games in the series. Which has been nice. It's actually really nice to like go back and uh, kind of appreciate where we came from um, in terms of the games. Okay, so what I... Oh, I had them down here. What is this? What am I doing here? <laughs> Oh, hi, buddy. Uh, yes, you can call me Fancy C. <laughs> Miss your badges? Sure. Um, give me a second. There we go. I don't have that many, but I have a decent amount in, like, silver, so. Need more hybrids and flowers in general? Yeah. Favorite video game genre? Uh... That's really hard to pinpoint down, because I play a lot of different types of games. Generally, I think life sims are my kind of go-to, but I play like a lot of RPGs and stuff like that. But again, that's a very wide range. Um... I don't know, there's a lot. <laughs> Mm 
Fancy C, very bougie and sounds like fantasy. That's exactly why I'm going for it. I think it's adorable. I'm not letting them change that cat trace. Or sorry, uh, the, uh, the, not greeting, what's the word? Nickname. I'm not gonna let them change that nickname. Your king, I do, I do. I watch his stuff. Uh, is it Ben? Hello, how are you doing today? What do I have going on in here? <laughs> Oh, uh, right, okay. We're not changing that room. That room is staying. So, what I think I might do is I might actually open up a second one here. Oh, do I have to actually talk to you? We haven't done this in so long. <laughs> uh, I need more space. Uh, second one. I don't know if it could have short to the random ghost or something. The random ghost sounds kind of cute. It might already be taken, but... The city folk moment. I just like his little, like, things that weren't carried over from the older games sort of videos. Those are always really fascinating. Ooh, that's a spooky one. Cool. So this is gonna be the beginning of our gyroid exhibit. All right, Shadow Star, we'll see you later. Have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. Love the egg day furniture. Yeah, I wanted to keep it for that reason. I kind of, I originally wanted to get all the holiday furniture and put it in here, but didn't bother. So that's good. Let's go shopping, shall we? No worries, Shrink Star, no worries. I always get them confused as well. I usually forget what it's called. Excited for New Horizons? Yes, very much so. It's been a very long time coming. Let me see, do we need any of these songs? KK Marathon. I'm actually looking at my list, by the way, if you guys are new here, we have a list of things I want to collect or complete before I finish this town. So you can type in exclamation mark museum in chat to bring that up. Um, and I have a list of the songs. I want to try and collect all of them. So we actually do need Marathon. <laughs> And KK House. I don't know if we already got that one. We don't actually, so let me go ahead and get rid of both of those off my list here. <laughs> and Lacoste is my favorite game, even though I've only played Pocket Camp. I'm glad you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the uh, any other games you play in the series as well. Red, let me check. I actually do need a serene painting, Red, if you, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> it's one of the, the last paintings I need. Not the very last one, but... If you're bringing down the house. Oh, there's my Sunday hat. Captain Mike, thank you so very much. I'm glad you enjoy it. Thank you, Red. I'll coordinate with you later about when I can grab that from you. Yeah, so true. Exactly, exactly. sisters because I think they're gonna start selling the Halloween stuff soon maybe not just yet maybe in October but next time we stream New Leaf guys it's gonna be October how weird is that by the way um like we're <laughs> why is the year going by so darn quickly <laughs> I 
I feel like this mustache fits random. I just want to throw that out there, just saying. The arrow shirt. It makes me think of Avatar now. <laughs> He cried when Nintendo announced New Horizons. I remember. I'm gonna remember that day forever. I was just like, oh, like, you know, it's the end of the direct. They're not gonna show it. And then it went to a black screen and a new trailer started. And it was just this woman talking. All of a sudden you hear Nook Airlines or something like that. Or Nook Getaway Package. And I was like, I know that name. <laughs> and just pure goosebumps everywhere. I was so excited. I still am, but like, you know. So my town's the Dreados raffle, and my town flag is a pixelated butt. I don't think it would cause a problem. Um, honestly, it's it's fine. It's fine. Um, we we have a very butt-like fruit for our town flag too. And then the music, yeah, I mm, the music. I I think it takes me a while to warm up to it. If you know what I mean. The chat was insane though. Yeah, we were all watching in here together. I think. <laughs> I think we were for that time, and it was just pure panic. No worries, lady. Thank you so much for asking, honestly. Um, makes it easier on me. was a good day though. I'm like, mm, I'm pretty sure we were even streaming on, on or around March 20th, 2018. And we were talking about it like we don't know what's going on with the Animal Crossing Switch yet. We didn't even know it was a year away at that point. Uh, Punko, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the host. How are you doing today? <laughs> Adam. <laughs> We all thought we weren't getting any news, and then boom, Nintendo finally announces New Horizons at the very end of the Direct. They, like, hit us with it. Same as when they were like, oh, we're only gonna show games from 2019, and then they threw in Animal Crossing. <laughs> Good times, though. Good times. Nintendo's great. Apparently, I already had that song. Oh gosh, hitting my own hair. Uh, Pineapple Steph, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on in. That is not what I thought the cover art for that song would be, but okay. Gotta appreciate KK cruising. <laughs> Such a trickster, yeah. Um, okay, what was I doing? Oh, Kevin, we need to talk to Kevin. <laughs> Waiting for the day that you water the hybrid reds, invite some mods over, and someone puts in a blue rose to freak you out. <laughs> I'd probably cry. Um, Kevin? Kevin, hello. <laughs> Please don't move out. We need to talk to you. There you are. Hi. Ping me? No? Okay. I love it when the weather's like this. You can do weight training or just stay inside and watch sports. Okay, why aren't you pinging me? Why are you not telling me these things? Love winter for Christmas, but you don't like the cold? Yeah, neither do I. I'm really not a, bit, uh, a big fan. Just keep talking to him. Diving trick? Yeah. I might have to resort to that. I'm gonna sneeze, by the way. Give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't want to blow out your rear drums. <laughs> um, mm, 
really like how different it seems from all the other games, but I think they did that on purpose. Uh, I like- sorry, I think the people who are making Animal Crossing while the game is in the series to have more variety. Oh, for sure. And they might realize, like, you know, after a while things get stale. Tomorrow's clear too. I just want today's weather to hold the way it is. Uh, Princess Natsumi? Himawari? I don't know if I'm saying your name right, but thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing today? Welcome on in. What were you streaming? Oh, Bob, that's not where that goes, buddy. <laughs> What's up? I hope you had a good stream. And William, I'm sorry that you stubbed your toe. I hope it feels okay. <laughs> I know it doesn't feel great at the beginning, but hopefully it doesn't bruise or anything. Ooh, you were playing Breath of the Wild. Heck yeah. I hope you're enjoying it. Oh, actually. There you go. Oh, and that emote is adorable. How are you doing today? Um, but if you guys are just coming on it, my name is Crystal. We're playing some new leaf. Um, we generally play Animal Crossing for the entirety of our weekends. I just didn't get to yesterday because I had another obligation. Um, orange, right? Go Girl Geeking? I didn't. I wish I could say that I did. I'm not this talented. Um, this is actually a QR code path, but of course, laid everything down myself. There we go. I like- th I, I'm not too sure about this orange on orange here, but we'll get used to it, maybe. Oh, and another red one. <laughs> and panda lover, indeed we are. Indeed we are. Okay, so we're gonna put down the reds over here. There's like a whole lot of uh, clovers here that I don't really want to pick up, <laughs> but they're kind of like making it look patchy back here. Realize I need more variety after what happened with Wild World. Yeah, Wild World's into city folk, in my opinion, where, you know, there, there could have been a little bit more going on there. Uh, is it Rafroni? I don't know if I'm saying her name right. Well, come on in. How are you doing? And thank you so much for that follow as well. That's very much appreciated. Uh, I really hope I'm not annoying you, but I think I have a few more purple tulips as well as orange. Thank you, Adam. Thank you so much for the offer. It's very much appreciated. I will keep it in mind for sure. Um, I need to kind of go through and organize flowers one day. Probably off stream. <laughs> um, so it's a little bit of a messy, messy thing right now. Um, I was working on these down here as well, but like, honestly, I don't know if I'm getting that far. Start taking these back up here, though. How would you rank the Animal Crossing games? Um, from most favorite to least favorite, for me personally, personal list, <laughs> uh, is New Leaf on top, of course, um, followed by Animal Crossing GameCube, because that's just pure nostalgia for me. Um, probably followed by City Folk. And then, um, Wild World. No, mm, yeah. <laughs> Wild World, uh, Amoeba Festival, Happy Home Designer. Wild World is very, it, it switches places though. I'm, I have a lot of nostalgia for that game. I, I remember playing it a lot as a kid, but, um, it hasn't aged very well. Oh no, how would you guys rank them? Happy Home Designers last yes. It, for me, it literally took everything I like in Animal Crossing and left with the stuff I don't really like. I'm not really a big fan of interior design. If anything, in terms of design, I like to work on the outside of my towns. Favorite kind of flower in Animal Crossing? Um, probably the rose, just straight up simple. <laughs> Do you think New Horizons will get sway into your face? I think it- I hope it's gonna be the new number one spot, but you never know, I could just dislike it. I don't think I will, <laughs> but you never really know. You love Happy Home Designer? Exactly, yeah, I know a lot of people do. I know a lot of people do, and I like- I, uh, I 
respect it. I respect it, but definitely just not for me. Oh, and I for Pocket Camp is moderately high up that list, actually. You love decorating the town, if I'm honest. Yeah, I... I just don't. <laughs> it never really clicked for me. Like, even, even in this game. Um, if you take a look at the outside of my town versus my house, <laughs> you can see definitely where I spend a lot more of my, uh, my time and effort. Like Amoeba Festival more? I like Amoeba Festival more, yes. I do indeed. Not saying it was great at all. It's very low on, the, on my list. Have blue roses yet? Nope. <laughs> well, I mean, we do, but they're gifted. Um, not ones that I've grown myself. If you play a lot of new leaves, sometimes you just take a break and play Happy Home Designer. Yeah, I've been doing that with, uh, on Thursdays we play, um, Animal Crossing City Folk and Animal Crossing Population Growing or GameCube. And it's been kind of nice to take a little bit of a break. You might be addicted to Pocket Camp. Yes, hello, G. And you're not the only one. I know a lot of other people in here are as well. Calling out to some of my mods, I see you. <laughs> uh, fashion draft, I don't think we're going to get one right away, but I do think there will be one Ooh, at some point. A scale from 0 to 100%. How good do you feel right now? I'm, I'm doing alright. I'm feeling pretty darn good, aren't you? Me too. I'm feeling so good, I'm even going to give Phoebe some of my extra cheerfulness. She might need it. Nintendo mobile games don't like your phone? That kind of sucks. I'm sorry about that. Kevin, could you just ping me already? Thanks for our brilliant mayor's ordinance. It's a lot easier and more pleasant to jog in this town. Weeds and garbage, the enemies of runners are gone. It's a big help. I'm gonna do the diving trick and see if that helps. <laughs> Yeah, Rachel, it's kind of annoying to always have to water your flowers. I'm running into the same thing. <laughs> CC. <laughs> See, the only thing about doing the diving trick is that I could run into someone else first who will ping me. Oops, so this might not work. You like the ordinance, so why don't you stay? <laughs> I'm I'm worried about him moving out actually though, because now that we only do new leaf on weekends, um, there is a good possibility he could leave in the week and not let me know. Uh super small, probably midge. Probably midge. Ooh, CC. Favorite color flowers? I want to say like purple or blue. Blue is like I think a lot of people's favorite. But the purple ones in general are really pretty. Yeah, so sure. It's uh, it's something I'm planning on. I literally only thought of the gyroid thing like just now when I told you guys I, I will be adding them uh, post stream. It means I have to start taking note of all the weird names though. Hmm. I forgot about the, um, our little trick that we do here. Rainsworld, hello, how are you doing? We did indeed do Slumber Party Sunday, um, and we decided to do a little bit of New Leaf after, just casually playing through doing dailies. Shrunk Shuffle is very OP, it is. Kevin better not leave. If he leaves, then I'll do something, huh? That is a threat indeed. <laughs> I'm trying to think, like, I, don't, I really don't want any of my villagers in this town to move out since I have them plot resetted into such good positions. Um, it, would, it would be a shame to have to start all over with that. Shunk shuffling those jellyfish right through your body. <laughs> 
Blue's your favorite, yeah. Go over to the corner where the rocks are. Jellyfish won't sting you. I have not heard about that before. I'll give it a try. I think that's a little bit too close to town, though, isn't it? You mean over on this side, I think, in my map. That's when the franchise gets ruined. Home Alone 3 wasn't the same. <laughs> Never knew you could do that. Yes, and if anyone in is new here and doesn't know what I'm doing randomly sitting in the water, please do let me know. I don't want people to be confused. Yeah, Fashion Giraffe, unfortunately there are certain public works projects that are only suggested by certain types of villagers. Uh, I've been waiting for a windmill as well, and Phoebe has not delivered. At least the sunset is really pretty at the moment. I know you can't really see it too much. Uh, oh, right into a jellyfish from the angle that we're at, but... Which is, do you have the best public works projects? They do have a lot of good ones. It's unfortunate because I always have issues with Uchis. <laughs> So, do you think the corner by the rocks, or do you think just by the rocks in general, maybe? I actually have never done this over here. Oh, it's coming right for me. I can't handle this. I'm scared. Okay. I'm gonna- Oh, Ooh, it stops just before. Interesting. Alright. Alright, let's see. Crystal used tackle on the wild jellyfish. It wasn't very effective. tend to fade away as they see the rock as an obstacle. Oh, that one caught me. Maybe it's the angle? Or maybe I'm not close enough. There we go. I think I'm as close as I can be. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. You learn something new every day. Thank you for letting me know. Did hear thunder, it shook the house, that meant a big storm, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm glad you're uh, one to enjoy thunderstorms. So there we go, new thing, new thing that we have learned today, uh, speaking, together today, you guys. That's very close, like, it's very close to my villager's, uh, bum. <laughs> a little bit too close for comfort, but if it works, it works. Meanwhile, the jellyfish are shaking their tentacles in frustration. <laughs> Oh, that one got me. <laughs> That's scary. I don't like that. Okay, we'll give Kevin like another minute here and then we'll go up and see if we can't get him to uh, be nice. Biggest hope for New Horizons? Um, that, that jellyfish disappeared really, really early on. Um, better online. I want to be able to play with people and not have one person DC who's not the host. Just one person DC. And not have everyone DC, because that it's just it sucks. <laughs> oh, awesome! You have to thank you, thank you. I'll have to check it out. That one is getting a promotion. <laughs> when you do the diving trick, you just walk away from my DS and go eat, and then yeah, if I wasn't streaming, that's what I'd be doing. Um, but on stream, I usually just use this as an opportunity to chat with you guys. But off stream now, 100%. <laughs> Put it on mute, just like keep an eye on the time. Oh, Range World, best of luck with your science test. Hope it goes well. No, that one, yeah. <laughs> that one went for my booty. You forget about your game when you do that? Okay. Now, I didn't go for very long this time. But we'll see if maybe we can't get Kevin's attention here. And I just hope I don't run into any villagers in between. 
Oh, Phoebe. For once in my life, I don't want you to ping me. Does anyone have a greeting for Phoebe? Other than attention hog? <laughs> Uh, base hope for Pokemon Sword and Shield. I don't know if I really have any. I just like everything I've seen so far. Pain in the pe I don't know if we have enough room for that, but I want to. Ah, uh, King. I don't know. I don't know if I would or not. I kind of want to do Pain in the Peach, but I don't know if there's enough room. How would I fix this? <sighs> Pain in the pee is what you're saying? No. Um, just straight up pain in the butt. <laughs> I could do that. Pain in the peach. Okay, you know what? That'll work. That sounds really weird, but it's fine. Gosh darn it, Phoebe. I'm trying to talk to <laughs> trying to talk to Kevin here, get him to tell me that he's thinking about moving. Where did he even go? Will you just talk to me? Oh. Red, is that you? <laughs> From what I've seen, she's a total pro listener. Next time you guys hang out, bring me along. We can lift some weights together. Red, we're gonna go lift weights together. Girl, you best be ready. <laughs> what is happening with my life, you guys? She's pro listener. <laughs> That's really funny. Unlike Phoebe. You know, I don't think Phoebe listens to me at all. I tell her not to give me fake paintings and to ping me for public works projects, and she doesn't listen. Oh, this bothers me. <laughs> I need to fix that. But anyways, guys, we are coming up for the three hour mark. I think I'm going to call it here on today's stream. I want to thank you all so very much for watching and hanging out with me today. Um, tomorrow, 2 p.m. EST, we are back for Super Mario Galaxy. We're actually going to be, I think, finishing that game tomorrow unless I get stuck, which is entirely possible. Um... Ooh, hello. Liz is playing Just Dance. Liz is part of Club Tortimer. She's lovely. Um, she is hilarious and she's dancing. So we gotta go join her. Gotta go share some love if you guys wanna go say hello. She probably is gonna play some Splatoon later, knowing her. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys all tomorrow.